Page 44, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And underneath the title you see the word variations. Now, this is a series of variations on we wish you a Merry Christmas. Normally when you get it, you would think, okay, we get a theme in variations, where they give you the theme or the melody, and then they give you variations on that melody. Well, in this case, they're giving you four variations. You already know what the theme is, pretty much. They're just giving you four, and they're styles of music. We have the different styles of music over, over hundreds of years, music has evolved, and that's really what these are about. This first one is the Baroque style, and they give you an idea of the years. When it, these years are not absolute. It, it didn't just suddenly, on that year, we're suddenly in a new style. It phased into that over time. As music evolved, they sort of categorize these, this evolution into these pieces. And the Baroque style, approximately from 1600 to 1750, is what it, it's, a, it's a style of music they had back then. And this is, we wish you a Merry Christmas in that style of music. So let's go through my routine. I see it's one page long, treble and bass clef, no sharps or flats in the key signature, so we're either in C major or A minor. Now look at the last measure at the bottom, we see I figure it's in C major. I'm going to do the scales and arpeggios though for the key signature, so I'm going to do the C major and A minor stuff in there. Yeah. And it's three, four time, we have a pickup beat. Now I want to take it one hand at a time, Let's make sure we got each hand figured out here. The right hand, it doesn't come in a measure five, so you're starting here. One and two and three and one. Okay, and next measure you get a D. Oh, that's wonderful. And then measure nine, you have plenty of rest to come up here. You have to reach up just a little bit because it's not here, it's here. So one and then a four. And now here on measure 10 here. That last D is by itself, but that whole half note, you gotta hold it down for the eighth notes. And then lift up on there. Be accurate with that, please. Hold that down. And then next one. I don't like using 5-5. Five, five. The problem here is we need another finger. And we don't have it. So I'm just gonna go here. And then, and then three. I could go five, four, three, two, one, two. I could do that too. I could. Uh, there's no right or wrong. It's just different ways of doing it. But then on measure twelve, the eighth notes. Well, if you can do the scales, this sort of thing is easy because it's in the scales. If you're doing the trill exercise, that really helps to reinforce this movement. Stay relaxed. And just bring the thumb under. The thumb will move if you'll just stay relaxed. And then measure 13. All eighth notes cross over. That's it. It's pretty nice, I think. Mm -hmm. Left hand, let's see what it's up to. You're starting here. So we're in this position. Three, one, and two. you to cross over just, just for one note just here to here just cross over for one note and then on measure six you come down here you have rest you got time rest now I'm going to recommend for measure six I don't want to move my hand anymore than I have to and I don't want to play measure seven here and here so I'm going to recommend a different fingering. I want to do measure seven with two and four. So I can go here. I just bring the little finger down. Here. Well, that means I need to be in this position. So then measure six, I'm going to use third finger here, not second. Rest, no, no. Then, then come down, third finger now on the G. You can use fourth finger there if you want to. Okay. Put the hands together. Well, they start measure. Where do they start? Measure six. Well, let's start at measure five. You're here. Just one hand at a time. Now 
Now make sure you get your right hand up here, ready to go on. Keys, and then here, these are together. Hold up, half nose down. Play the C and measure 12, the left hand comes up. So you go through, put the hands together, and then go back through a few whatever times and work out any hesitations you may have so you can get a steady beat. Keep it as slow as you need to go, it's not important, but a steady beat. If you need a metronome to help you, then use a metronome, whatever it takes no hesitations and I'm connecting everything at this point but then once I have that the notes and the fingering and the rhythms and all and it's working then I'll add in the articulation and that's the slurs and staccatos and accents and stuff at the beginning we have it here staccato just flex real strong this together. Lift up. Yeah. Now measure 13, look out. I'm going to connect this with this at the same time. But weird doing different things. Again, when you're doing the scales, practice the scale doing one hand connected and the other hand short. And then take turns as to which hand. Because C major scale, I can go here, I can connect the right hand and shorten the left. And then switch it and go. This gives you that feeling. I mean, you're doing the scales anyway. You just want to practice this other stuff. That way, when you run into the in this music, like or any music, it it's easier, huh? And the last, the last major and left hand connect that. It, it, there's there's no slur mark there. But just go ahead and connect it. And then there's a tenuto line on the last note. Hang on to that to full. It's not short. Hang on to that, and then let both hands at the same time. That's sort of the articulation. Then the dynamics. MF is mezzo forte and it applies to the melody, wherever the melody is. In this case, it's, it's, all, it's all melody. Whatever you think moderately loud is, you have to decide because it's not a set. And then when you get to the pickup to measure nine or the last beat to measure eight, you come down to moderately soft, mezzo piano, and that's the melody. hand. This right hand needs to be in the background, out of the way. And it's not very good, but that's the melody. And then at the end, that's melody. Bring it out. Measure 12, that crescendo, a hairpin to go up, you're going to go up from moderately soft to moderately loud. There's not much difference. You just save most of your crescendo toward the end of that. And I measure 13 is a little tricky because really it's the left hand we want to hear, not the right. Can you come down and let the left hand take it over? you're soft at the end. I don't agree with that. I'm not just going to suddenly be soft a lot on a no. If you're going to be soft at the last measure, I need another hairpin to tell me to go back down. So in the next to the last measure, make each one of those a little softer. So I'm soft at the end. But I frankly think soft is 
not where you really want to be in this piece. This is a happy piece. I want to end this loud. So if anything, I'm going to end it loud, not soft. And that could be an error in the music. Maybe they meant forte, F, instead of P. So I would, I would end it loud. In the right hand. In my opinion, that should be an F. And once I have an idea of the dynamics, then I think about the speed. This is a happy piece. It kind of depends on how much eggnog you've had to drink and whatever you're drinking. It's just, it's a happy. There are words to it. There's no words in this book, but there are words to this. You want to sing it, how fast would you be singing it? You know, it's not fast or slow. It's somewhere in the middle. me you get into it you make it yours you have fun with it now don't forget the natural accent they're important and three four time it's one two three one of so at the beginning it should sound like to here to here make sure that first beat otherwise the listener will think the first note you played is the first beat one now that throws it off so make sure it's a to here each time Exaggerate it if you have to, till you get it. Exaggerate it, they're important, put them in. You wanna feel them though, rather than force them. You force them at first if you have to, but eventually you just feel it. Let's play that together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not gonna do any dynamics, louds and soft, I'm gonna do it all about the same. I'll do the staccatos and stuff. So I'm going to give us two counts. Ready, go. Two. And then we go, because we come in on beat three. Hmm. Ready, and go, and. Hmm. 